What's going on, guys? Mike Echoes here. Welcome to the first series on this channel ever. Um, took me a long time to make the decision to actually start a playthrough, but um, somebody in the comments section the other day, I think it was Addicted to Rust, had said they would watch it. So here we are. Um, before we get started, just a few things. I'm using a few mods on here. Uh, S plus. I'm using a crafting skill potion, cryopod uh, cooldown timer mod as well. Uh, just because I like to play on PvP for certain reasons, and it just takes the cryopod cooldown away. Crafting skill potion just resets all your skills into crafting skill, and then back again. Um, when you drink it and then I'm using a mod that automatically unlocks the Ingrams for each level um, just because in single player you don't have other people and you can't unlock all the Ingrams yourself so you wind up when you get to max level not having all the Ingrams you want that mod just lets me have all my Ingrams by the end of the game um, and S plus is just uh, just a great mod um, adds a lot of building options things like that but let's just jump right into this let's grab a couple of rocks we are in a pretty good little spot. Go ahead and start gathering things just in case there's any Dilophosaurs around. Grab us some thatch, and that should get us to... Let's turn boulders off. Okay. Those. Drop all this nonsense. Keep my hat. Boom. Okay, so. Run over here and get some stone. No, but like, uh, starting fresh. I've been running, uh, God, I think I've got like a hundred and some hours in, in the other save I've got running right now. And it's still in the island. I just beat, um, the brood mother on that file. So it's kind of crazy getting back to the start. Um, I'm going to try not to make as many cuts as I would for my tutorial videos, I guess. Just to kind of keep you guys around for the whole process. Um, but I think what I'm wanting to do with this series is run all the way from the island to the end of Extinction. Kind of like an Ultimate Arc uh, playthrough. Not really sure how long it's going to take. Uh, there's not going to be any set schedule for these videos. Um, I'm going to try my best to get at least a video out a week um, of this series. But when we get towards the end, when I'm starting to stack mutations and things like that, it tends to take days. <laughs> I think it took me two weeks to get one stack of 20 mutations on my Rexes that I had on my other file. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and grab wood. Some wood for spears. I'm going to jump right into to getting everything set up. These first few levels are kind of kind of crazy. I can get all three of those. And I'm starting to get about halfway on food, so we'll, we'll do a little bit of hunting and get us a fire and a sleeping bag down after we get some meat. Go ahead and upgrade and do melee damage. We just hit the level we can make sleeping bags. That's great. All right. Run up here and get the stuff to make a fire with... What, what all do we need? Let's see. Go ahead and turn folders on now. Stone. But yeah, the beginning arc. It's this is always honestly, this is this is always when it's the best. Uh everything can still kill you. Everything's dangerous. You're just trying to, to scrape by and survive. It's nothing really like it. And these first first few days on the arc are always the craziest. You're just trying to get your your bearings, get everything leveled out. Fire going. And usually what I do, nothing crazy. Um, I think if you don't have S+, you, you might not be able to do this. 
pretty sure you can put uh, your fire pit and your sleeping bags down, but when you go to put your like mortar and pestle and things like that, you're not going to be able to do this. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. Throw us some meat down. Get that cooking. This next level. What have we done? Okay. Um, the next thing is going to be a sleeping bag. Planius structures, maybe beds. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need fiber and more hide. I have to do a little bit more hunting. I kind of want to just get my bearings here and see what, what's around. Make sure there's nothing nasty. Looks like there's something up here. We can get us another dodo. I want the hide off of this one, so. Alright. Something was chasing Parasaur up here, so I think we might have a Dilophosaur. Yeah, right here. Go ahead and get him out of the way. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull the hide off of him, too. He did quite a bit of damage to us, actually. Okay. I think that does it for, for this little area. Um, got a trike here, Moss Chops. What level are you? Six. Oh, no. My levels are, are messed up. Definitely going to have to fix that. Oh, no, no, no. It's, uh, yeah, tech, tech creatures are a little bit different, aren't they? Yeah, we're fine. That's me being a moron. It's all good. Uh, but anyway, get back down here and see what we've got as far as food's going. If we can... Oh, yeah, we need uh, fiber, don't we? Remember back in the day, like back when this was still in beta and uh, it just came out, resources were so hard to get. Like you you got barely anything for... Uh, we're picking at the plants. It was so hard to get fiber in the early game back then. Go and put the rest of the meat on there. Um, trying to think here. Back going. Go ahead and put another point into health. What's that unlock? Okay, we just got narcotics and our mortar and pestle. So, probably would be in our best interest to go ahead and get a foundation down and get everything set up to start pumping out narcotics because the narcotics are going to be really important to get those early levels. Um, you just set it up and get get a bunch of narcotic running and it's kind of like passive uh, experience. Yep. That and then put this down here. If we die, we'll be all right. And get this set up over here out of the way and then see what we need for the mortar and pestle. So that be under miss okay we need 65 stone we've got 22 so we need like 43 forgive me if my math is a little wonky there yep I was right All right, so we are pumping through these first, first several levels. Go ahead and put a little bit more into melee. What did that unlock? That was our bed. 
Spyglass, we'll take care of that here in a bit. Did we... What level are we getting our... Okay, so that's level 9 for our bolas. Those are going to be important before we leave the beach. I absolutely will not leave... <laughs> leave my safe spot on the beach. What is that? Oh, you gotta love Ark. We've got a... Multidimensional... <laughs> Can't tell if it's a dolphin or a uh, megalodon. This, no, it's a megalodon. Yeah, we've got a multidimensional megalodon hanging out, just glitching in and out of reality over there. We've got rain, and it's going to be... Is that noon? Yeah, that's noon. I thought, I thought it was night already. Starting to freak out. I was like, really? Okay. Um... So we want to put our mortar and pestle down. And... I think... Yeah, we're going to need more meat for sure. Um, go ahead and split all of this. The reason I'm splitting this is so it all spoils at once. It just spoils faster. We'll all go into spoiled meat. Um, I know most people know know all about that, but just for anybody who doesn't, split your meat, you'll get, uh, you'll get your rotten meat a whole lot faster. As far as that goes, um, let's see, let's make us a storage box, I think, so we can put this excess junk in it. We start getting metal and things like that. It's good to, and that shark, megalodon, whatever you want to call it, really freaking out out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our metal in there. In. All right. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and get our whatever type of clothes they are. I can't even remember what they're called. My brain is farting all over the place today. Cloth clothing. Pants and shoes. I think that's the most important. Gloves and that. And then we need for a shirt. Just more fiber. All right. Oh, and we're going to have problems. To Nick the Ornus right above where all of uh, my good stuff's at. All right. Add one there. There we go. Yeah, that's that's going to be a problem. I can tell already. He's, he's going to be... Uh, a pain in my ass. The rest of the wood down. Um. All right, so I think we're gonna do a little bit more hunting. Ah, there it is. The dodo is gonna be our best bet right now for more meat. And for anybody who doesn't know, pick will give you more meat. Hatchet will give you more hide. We're just breezing through these levels. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, so we've got one more level until we can uh, get our bolas and really start start doing things. But, oh, go find that stack of eleven. I saw it right here. Split all. We'll go ahead and uh, start gathering berries. Uh. I'm not really sure if it's the way it used to be, but there were certain bushes that would give you more narcotics, and there were certain bushes that would give you more fiber. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was like these bushes here would give you more berries, but evidently that's not the case anymore. It was just kind of hit and miss. Um, until we can get a Parasaur to start going through these uh, berries... More efficiently it's going to be kind of rough but that will this guy's not going to be our first team for sure uh, i think there's probably going to be another parasaur somewhere along this beach we'll we'll run out and we'll try to find it um as soon as i get this first batch of narcotics one because the, by the time we get over there and these first few runs of narcotics are are used or 
rafted, whatever um, I call it. I words. <laughs> uh, anyway, once we get those on and we head down the beach to try to find a decent level uh, parasaur, we should be at the level where we have some bolas, and I'll just craft them on the way. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some more spears made for our little uh, adventure out here. We're definitely gonna need them. Weapons, primitive, not ranged. Anyway, make two clubs, and then we're gonna do the rest. Spears, and then I will usually put both of my clubs on my hotbar. That way, if one breaks, I can immediately switch to the other one. Um, are we going to need more spears? Any more wood? That's doable. Are we still over encumbered? All these berries. Put that in half. Drop half of it. I always like to keep a little bit of stem berries on me in the beginning just because you never know there's a lot of things that will will try to knock you out so okay so what we're gonna do here we're gonna put all of our narco berries in there all of that and then we're just gonna run as many narcotics as we can and let's see what else are we gonna need Honestly, I think we're probably going to be good. I'm going to drop a lot of our more valuable items that would. Yeah, I think I'm going to want to. Um, yeah, there's there's our level two. I think I'm going to want to go ahead and grab some of these narcotics just in case we get like a max level. Uh, seven should be. Well, seven's probably actually too many. Go ahead and drop some of these back in here. And be on our merry way. Okay, um, actually, let's go ahead and get some bolas made up here. Definitely gonna need some stone too, I believe. Is that what it said? Yeah, we're gonna need stone. And then we'll head out and try to find something to tame. I'm, I'm gonna say. Almost for sure going to be a Parasaur. We're going to need more than three, so... It's going to be Fiber is what we're going to need. Go ahead and get those on our hot bar as well. I think five will be plenty. What's our weight looking like? Um, I'm just gonna drop. Excess stuff here. Um, let's see, I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of weight. Sam, what did that unlock? We've got a bow. Oh man. See, yeah, I'm gonna have to. The bow is just much more viable for uh, defending yourself than the spears are. Just because you can keep your distance. You can bolus something and keep keep good distance with the bow. Yep. And ammo. We're going to make... We're going to need flint. Let's see. There we go. Uh, how do I want to do this? Well, I think I'm going to put the bow as six and then... There. Okay. Let's just get us, uh, I don't know, 20 arrows or so. More fiber. I apologize for just grinding and 
and crafting here, but that, that's literally what the first day on a couple of days on the arcs is. Speaking of that, um, Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and get bellies full and drop this excess. Just until you get your, your weight leveled up, it's it's kind of difficult. Um, I, think, I think that's going to do it. So we're just going to head inland a little bit. It's going to be our first real adventure. Uh, trying to find a decent level Parasaur is what I'm going to do. Uh, if we can do that, we're pretty much set up to, uh, to progress because then we can get a real um, amount of... Can I? Uh, I'm going to leave you alone. Seems like that's asking for trouble. Yeah, but once we get a Parasaur, that pretty much sets us up to get narcotics uh, running really well, and then that sets us up to go on a little bit of a metal run. Oh, I missed. Got him. That is so much more rewarding. Um, without without crosshairs. I mean, I know I know it annoys a lot of people, and a lot of people can't do it. But if you learn where to place your shots and you get used to it, it just I don't know. In my opinion, it feels so much more rewarding to be able to pull off a kill like that without the crosshair. And I really don't. Oh, man, I hate those things. There's one dino that I always hear everyone complain about. It is these guys. Stupid item stealing pelicans. Uh, I mean, it's not great. It's a level 90. I mean, but for a, a beginner tame, I think... Uh, Yeah, that's that's exactly that is exactly what I was worried about. And they're impossible to hit. Sometimes your shots don't even count. Yeah, my shot didn't even count. Oh my god. <sighs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. God, I hate those things. The devs were like, oh, what, what can we develop that is going to piss our player base off worse than anything? Man, I, I, honestly, that <laughs> that may be Wildcard's uh, agenda all along with this entire game, but that's a whole different story. This game's like a masochist sweat dream. And I think we're going to go for it. I'm going to start stop griping. We're just going to get into it. So hopefully he doesn't get out of the bola before he knocks, but if he does, we'll just chase him down. We're on the beach. It's not too big of a problem. There's Unless he runs back into the woods, we should be able to get him um, without too much incident. I probably am going to have to go back and get a little bit more narcotics. Oh yeah, we're going to have to get him again. Now you're going to run right to those things. Okay. This... That's great. Not... Oh, we're just having all kinds of fun. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is um This is really sloppy. I apologize. Sure there's people screaming at their 
their televisions, phones, and monitors right now. I'm sorry, guys. I know, I know how sloppy this is. It's awful. Don't do it. Okay. Go away. Suck. Okay, I'm just going to leave him alone because I'm. Is there another one? Oh my god. Okay. So we're just going to drop those magic berries in there. And yeah, I hit him. Great. Oh, well, I don't even care. He's going to come out to level 130. He's, he's going to be fun. We're just going to leave it alone. We've got, got a parasaur on the way. Now, let me go get... Actually, let me just uh, check Dodo decks here. See if I'm even going to need any narcotics. Just pull up the old handy dandy notebook here. Okay, so what level ninety? Eighteen measure berries. Yeah, we're not even gonna need any narcotics. I'm just gonna let him sit. Um what all did I lose? The love of God. All is holy. No, we're gonna have to get some more arrows for sure. Um, whew. Get a little bit of movement speed because I feel like I was not moving fast enough for that. Okay, so we've got. Oh, we're finally to wood and get a little base base going in the next episode I think because we are about out of time for this one uh, probably will call the video once this guy's tamed up uh, oh my goodness that was uh, that was stressful I I'm positive that somebody watching this is going to have yelled at the, the television phone or monitor at some point during that mess uh, I'm, I apologize I know that was aggravating to watch Trust me, I felt I felt the aggravation too. We got it, and I'm I, I'm fine with losing just a little bit of the taming effectiveness. Like I said, he's not he's not a perfect level anyway. He's gonna he's probably gonna die within the first week of the game, so it's not not really that big of a deal. He's just gonna help us get our narcotics farm going a little better, and he's gonna help us get some metal. It's literally gonna be my pack mule. Uh, to bring back metal from somewhere over there. I think Metal Mountain is that way. It's been a while since I've been at this early point in the game. So we're going to have to do a little bit of exploring. Uh, need to eat a little bit here. I think, uh, what level? Whistling at nothing. I kind of forgot what level. I'm going to unlock the forge because that should be soon, I'm assuming. Uh, let's see. No, we got a ways. Definitely going to have to pump out some narcotics and uh, do quite a bit of stuff. Yes, yeah, level 20. We're level 11. So we've got nine levels to go until 20. So we are for sure going to have to do a little bit more adventure and a little bit more hunting um, until we get that up. We'll probably do a bit of a building session in the next video. Um Get us a little base somewhere down here, probably towards the end of the beach, because a lot of times nasty stuff will, will work its way into this little bit of water right here. Um, as far as everything else goes, I think we're about to tame this guy up. Shouldn't take another minute or so. Um. I'm going to pull the same thing all these other YouTubers do. I'm going to be like, oh, you guys can name it. So it's a male, 
let me know in the comments. I'm not going to say the first person to comment because, uh, you know, somebody could be first and name it something like uh, really offensive. <laughs> so uh, go ahead and drop some names down in the comments. I'll pick one uh, and we'll name this guy and he will be our good friend for a week or so until, you know, a Carno eats him or something. I think we've got two or three more feeds. Uh, definitely going to have to get revenge on these uh, flying annoyances. But uh, I don't know. My uh, arrows weren't weren't doing anything a little bit ago. So I'm just going to have to try to stay away from them for now. Uh, get us a long rifle and uh, we'll put an end to their existence. Show them the true meaning of extinction. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, just one more feed. Come on! Alright, there it is. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. That's, that's enough uh, stress for right now. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, you know, let me know. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, let me know what to name this guy down in the comments. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to get him back over to our little uh, safe area and, uh, you know, go drink a beer or something. <laughs> this was stressful. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.